by appreciating social psychology, you're going to be a better, better therapist. Personality disorders are difficult to define, and the reliability of them is notoriously low. You need the historians to tell you literally what went on. You need kind of sociologists, psychologists, everybody trying to pull uh, together information so that you have an accurate basis for drawing psychological uh, generalities. If you look at the 20th century, it is literally strewn with examples of mass killing. We keep laboring under the assumption that there is some kind of specific treatment for these different disorders. There is no specific treatment for any specific psychiatric disorder that we know of. Lucifer means light, okay? And the Lucifer effect was the fact that God's favorite angel became the devil. We usually say, who is to blame? When you ask that question, you're a very biased answer. If you ask who is to blame, it can only be a person. We say, what is to blame? It could be a person, but it also could be the situation. It's just on too vast a scale, too repetitive to say this is the work of somebody who is crazy. That doesn't work. It's more to be understood in terms of situational pressures. Many individuals, including high-ranking Nazi war criminals, participated in atrocities without having any diagnosable impairments. Good people, ordinary people, average people, begin to do things which move toward the evil side, move toward the bad side. What makes people do things that, that we all would agree are evil? The social psychologist will tell you that much more of behavior is predictable on the basis of the situation than it is on the disposition. Let's assume that they were good at some point prior to this. What could account for the behavioral transformations? Dispositional, the situation, the system. And this is what I call the bad barrel makers. Familiarize yourself with what happened and then try to extract commonalities uh, across these uh, horrific events. The human mind's complexity has templates for love and hate, for good and evil in all of us. Anything any human being has ever done, we could do under those circumstances. There's a State Department briefing, and the lady, which is a woman who's the spokesperson for the State Department, and people say, well, are you aware of the acts, uh, uh, what's going on in Rwanda, the genocide in Rwanda? And she said, uh, well, it, we don't know that it's a genocide. There are acts of genocide in Rwanda. And somebody raises their hand and says, how many acts of genocide does it take to make a genocide? The line between good and evil lies in the center of every human heart. It's not abstract. It's not out there. It's right there.